So you consider that in the art market today, in the very special, uh, in in these very special circumstances, there there are two kind of art and value of art in the evolution of the price due to coronavirus crisis. Yeah, I do, I do consider that there is um, two market, the primary and the secondary market. And in the primary market, you cannot change the value because you just sold to some of your clients, museum or good clients, some work from this primary market. And if you sell tomorrow the same work with a discount of 30 or 40 percent, then uh, you will like you, you will look like a fool and nobody will uh, remain clients in your gallery. For the secondary market, it's a, it's another story because nobody knows when you bought the work and how much you pay for it and where it comes from. So you have to build the story for the secondary market and then you can give a bargain or a discount if you need to have cash money to continue your activity. Yeah, but you, you, you showed that you are able to do, to do big bargain today in your, in your proposal. In the in the love and co uh, love and collect proposal, we can do big bargain because uh, we found the work sometimes long time ago, or we just found the works in very good condition. We know what was the price a few months ago, what was the market price, but we know that even if we sell with a thirty or forty percent discount, we still make a little bit of money. But then we get some money back, so we will be able to earn some cash in the next months to keep. Uh, the, the gallery alive. What about primary market? What is surprising is that everyone knows that all the galleries have difficulties now and they need to adapt to the, to, to the, to the demand, right? Of course, but then you have two options. You have the first option which has happened in the last crisis at the end of 2008 where some artists have changed their production because they didn't want to show that they were going to sell with a discount. So finally, when they were painting on canvas, they decided to paint on paper for a while and to create a new market with new prices. So you cannot compare new works and the works that have been sold the year before. Uh, if you can't compare, then you give the chance to some people to understand that the price are going down, which is not a good information to send to your clients. But you said to me also that in the secondary market, there are some values that will not change, like uh, you said, yeah. it's historical values, because, because there are just a few, they are very rare, and people are looking for them. It's like very important works. People who, have, who own the works. Can you give examples? Works. Excuse me? Examples. Examples. Uh, if you if you want something very important that everyone is looking for, like an amazing Picasso, uh, there are still people ready to buy it. But maybe the seller doesn't want to take any risk to to put the work on the market. But if you put the work on the market, you will have some crazy healthy people who will go for it because it's a gem. And I think uh, there is still a market for iconic works, works that can change. Uh, the amount of visitors in your museum, for example. Okay, but you are not selling much Picasso. I... No, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about. No, Picasso speak about it's, you. It's easy to yes. understand. I have other artists that, for me, belong to history, and so I'm sure you. that, like like uh, Gilayo in uh, the French painter, like Michel Parmentier, uh, the French artist uh, from the BMPT group, like Alina Shaposhnikov, uh, I know that these artists. Uh, have a market today which is a very strong market from uh, museum and very big collectors and they are still looking for works. So they are waiting for the works to come from a secondary market because these artists are dead today. So it's only, it comes from the estate or it comes from a from private collection who bought the works 20, 30, 40 years ago. And for Alina Shaposhnikov, you control the market. You control the estate, right? I work, I'm in charge of the estate, and I work closely with Heuser and Gerd Gary. So we work. To, there are just a few works available, and so we try to find the right uh, museum or the right collection for each work. So we have time because there will be the, the production will always be very very small. And so uh, for Shaposhnikov, for example. You think that the price will not go down? So the price cannot go down because we have much more demand than we can offer uh, words. 
So the price cannot go down because it's very rare. We know that it's it's uh, asked by more and more museums every year to get into shows or to have uh, solo exhibitions. We have more and more demand, so we have. We know that uh, we can sell easily if we want to, but we want to go slowly and to find the right family for each baby. Bon, merci, monsieur.